last sweet maiden. Our legal system is less than perfection. There's always a possibility that a vital piece of information concerning Brick's son slipped through most of the cracks and could be stored away in a file somewhere. Are you saying you know something about Johnny's disappearance? Oh, Jane, beautiful, young, virginal Jane. You know I'd never say anything like that. I'm, I'm merely letting you know there is a file, a certain file that I think you might find fascinating and informative. What do I have to do to look at that file? Well, you know the old saying, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I hate it when I have to resort to cliches. There is another saying, put up or shut up. What? Why didn't I say put out or shut up? There isn't much that escapes notice of the DA's office. You don't know what you'd be missing in every way. I'll have to think about it. It's late. I've got to go. Oh, Jane, 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 you're going to have to play the game my way. You're not going to play it at all. Your mission, should you accept it, is to satisfy the insatiable district attorney and then discover what's in the file. Good luck, Jane. You're going to need it. Telling you, Brett, Keith knows something about Johnny's Look, disappearance. I want you to stop going around town making these kind of accusations. You got it? Now, I hate Timmons just as much as you do. But if he could find a way to help Johnny, he would. You realize the kind of publicity this could buy him? If I take you, believe me. All right, all right. Except, what did he say on this tape, huh? What did he say? Well, it wasn't so much the words he was using. He was being very careful. But you could tell he wasn't bluffing. Now, he has got something. And I, I think the reason why he's holding it back is because he's involved somehow. Dear Jane, I just want my son back. Now, this kind of thing you're talking Keith about... Keith knows something. I will do will, whatever will, I have to to get it out of him. You will do nothing. You will not. You will drop it right now. No, just drop it. I won't. I can't. I love Johnny. I was responsible for losing him, and I'm going to see to it that you get him back. Something so familiar about you. Something. Something almost scary. Promise me, just promise me one thing that no matter what happens, you will not give up on her. Well, who's scared? I didn't even give up on her when I thought she was dead, Sophia. But I don't understand why she seems to have given up on me. Look, I'm gonna leave. But I'm good. You tell her I was here and yeah. tell her that I'm coming back, all right? Yes. Thanks. Cruz? Please don't go. I heard what you said before. That's good. Because I meant every word he... He never gave up on me. No, I didn't. He never gave up on us. That's the truth. It's a lie. Excuse me? She's very attractive. I can understand why you fell for her. All right. 
How many times do you expect me to explain this to I you? I don't expect you to explain it anymore. I certainly don't want to sit here and listen to any more of your lies. Really? I don't know you anymore. And I don't want to. Why are you doing this? Because I want you out of my life. I don't believe that. Believe it. I was in to see you earlier today. Well, that I do remember. You said we'd never met. No, we haven't. Not until today. Oh, so I guess you're just hanging around because you're a good friend of that blonde, Eden. Well, actually, I need to ask you some questions. I think that's a waste of your time and mine. Uh, these are professional questions. I'm a private detective. Looking for whom? Friend of Eden's. And I thought that maybe if I ask the right kind of questions, your memory will come flooding back. Well, I wouldn't count on it, but hey, what the hell. Let's give it a try. Huh? Let's do. Do you remember anything at all about the day you were shot? No. I was reading about it in the paper, though. I guess it all started at a restaurant called uh, the Orient Express. But you don't remember the restaurant? And you don't remember Eden Caswell being there? No. And I don't remember being up in the mountains with her, and I don't remember helping her walk. She told you that? <sighs> oh, yeah. She's got it in her head. I'm going to help her out of her wheelchair. You know who shot you, don't you? Some guy named Castillo. Are you planning to press charges? <laughs> hey, for what I've read, uh, there's plenty of witnesses who saw me put a gun to that Capo lady and threaten her. Sounds like I'm the one who's going to be in prison. Well, I don't know. That all depends on if Eden decides to press charges on you. Somehow, I don't think you're the kind of man to fare very well in prison. How would you know? Someone told me that you had been in Vietnam. Who told you that? When I was in here earlier today, you were mumbling in your sleep something about the war, and I gather they were very bad dreams. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up painful memories. You know, it's very odd, though. The doctors haven't been able to find any of your war records. At least under the name of Kane. What is any of this to you? I'm a private detective, I told you. And the man with so much mystery is rather intriguing to me. So who is this friend of Eden's that you're looking for? That's confidential. Those are the details of my life. I don't like people digging around in my past. Kane, now there's no reason to get paranoid here. I haven't been digging around in your past. Yes. But if I decide to do that, I guarantee you that I'll find what there is to find. All I want to know now is what you remember of the day you were shot. I already told you another damn thing. I mean, I know it's all up here. I just wish I could figure out how to remember it. I mean, why would I want to hurt someone like Eden Capwell? Well, maybe it's better you don't remember too much too quickly. In the end, it could prove more harmful than good. Nothing at all. No, there's no real reason for concern. I. No, no, Ava, really, you didn't. Just let me know if you hear anything at all, please. Thank you. Oh, hi, darling. I'm just making arrangements for Eden. I have a, a list here. See if I, I've got everything on it, all right? You were just talking to Abe Blanton on the phone. Yeah, I've got, I've got some business with him. Uh, I thought I'd ask him about Mason, that's all. They have a stock deal pending. And what did he say? Nothing. Nobody knows nothing except some phone calls that Victoria apparently has gotten. I don't understand it. I, I, it's all over the papers that Eden is alive and back home again. And where the hell is Mason? He's got a wife on trial for attempted murder. Where the hell is Mason? He's not here. Kelly, someplace out with Jeffrey. This isn't good for Eden. This is not going to help her at all. 
All right, honey, I talked to Eden, and I explained that Mason was out of town on a business trip, and he's been out of touch, and Kelly and Jeffrey are probably camping somewhere in the Grand Canyon, and haven't read a newspaper, now she seemed to accept it for now. Well, that's something important, that she thinks everything is just right. I've got people coming to put in the elevator today. With any luck, we might not need it. What does that mean? She's talking to Cruz right now, and if she comes to her senses, she'll go home with it. Sophia, what is the matter with you? How could he take care of her the way we can in this see, house? See, see, she needs Cruz's love more than anything in the world right now. You're right. You're right. She's got to know that he loves her no matter what the hell has happened. If she would just think straight, she would stop pushing him away. She loves him so much. But she doesn't want him to pity her, so you know what she's doing now? She's actually making up reasons to keep him away. Okay, uh... Let me get this straight. Now, you've spoken your piece. I'm supposed to turn around now and... walk out of your life, is that it? Is that what you expect? Yes, I do. You know, Eden, when I thought that I had lost you, I didn't care whether I lived or died. It took me a while to come up with a decent reason to keep on going. Well, apparently it wasn't too difficult for you. <sighs> Darling, this isn't working, you see, because I know you don't believe what you're saying. Well, sometimes it's hard to know what to believe. I was pretty naive about things. I mean, you asked me to accept that you slept with Victoria and you didn't know it. And now you want me to accept this latest story about you and Eleanor. Well, Aiden, for I would imagine you were shot up with morphine that night, too. Where the hell do you get off talking to and me And then like you that? opened a uh, private detective agency with money you inherited from me. You opened that agency with a woman you were holding passionately in your arms. A woman whose blouse was mysteriously missing the night that I Look, saw her. I had tried to explain that to you. you I don't obviously need for don't you to hear explain it. anything to me anymore. You explained to me that you missed me. Well, I don't believe you. I mean, I thought that you had grown up a little bit. I thought we were, I didn't thought, I thought we were past this kind of thing. I'm sorry that I came back when you so obviously had gone on with your life. What, what life? You, are you kidding? You think I have a life? I. I was waiting on, uh, on you. You and I were going to get married well, and have a family. They've been kind to us, haven't they? We didn't make that mistake. I would have hated to have gotten in the way of your latest romance. Oh, man. I I'm, I'm amazed. You let me think you were dead for five months. You didn't even try to get in touch with me. Some people might expect me to be a little angry about that and you to be somewhat apologetic. Instead, you show up here and you're just, you're just hurling these outrageous accusations at me. You're right. Then again, you're always right, aren't don't, you? I don't want you to tell me that I'm right. I mean, what happened to you? Uh, did the man brainwash you? Is that it? I, are you out of your mind? Is this temporary insanity or something? Well, I'm glad you think of me this way. Maybe it'll ease your conscience when you go back to your girlfriend, Eleanor. Now you shut up! About my girlfriend, Eleanor, I had just about enough, you understand? You hit me. Why don't you hurt me? Maybe that would make you feel a lot better about what you've done. Find Johnny. Look, don't say that, all right? Please, I know you're trying to help, but it just doesn't anymore. There was a time when when it was just somehow was meaningless, but now it's something worse, because in my heart, I know there's no reason for me to hope. No, no, it's not true. Pearl, please, I can't deal in false hopes, man. 
that Jane walks here with some cock and bull story about Timmons having some kind of information. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 what kind of information? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. And she doesn't know either. She just, uh, is gra she's grasping at straws because uh, uh, she feels guilty that, that she handed over my son to what turned out to be kidnapped. Listen, pal, you gotta know how bad she feels yes, about and I know, this. And I know it's an accident. Nice accident. But it's not bringing my son back to me, is it? And I'm sorry, I can't forget who's responsible. Well, you know, I thought you'd be coming by today. Please, come in. I went by your office today, and your secretary said that you were working here. You're a clever girl, my secretary. She always seems to know where I am, even when I don't know where I am. But, of course, now I do know where I am. I'm here. You're here. We're here. I bet you, I bet you came by to take a peek at some information we talked about, aren't you? Of course I want to see it. Miss Haley. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's just us uh, kids. So, uh, I, it seems to me I remember that we had some sort of requirements that you had to satisfy before I handed over the information. Uh, do you remember those uh, stipulations? I told you I'd do anything to get Johnny back. Oh, maybe I ought to frisk you to see if you got any more chicks up your skirt. <laughs> Frisking is a laugh riot to me. You know, I, that's why I always wanted to be a cop. I want to see the evidence first. Oh, you mean like... Oh, I mean, I give you the evidence, and you go out and do what you want with it, and then I sit around waiting for you to come back and do your end of the deal? Right. I don't even know that you have evidence. For all I know, you could be making this whole thing up. Of course you know. You're right. I could be lying. But wouldn't, couldn't you tell if I was lying? Can't you tell when somebody's lying? I want to see it. I'd love to show it to you. The evidence. Oh. Well, I came prepared. Look, I, well... No, I... I can't handle something sensitive to somebody who knows. I, well, I... Gosh, barely know. All right, where do you want me to meet you? What sleazy hotel are you used to, Keith? How about right here? Here? Yeah, there's no place like home. And what about Haley? What if she were to come back? I can't take I a chance on that. I know she's going to be out all night with her, her dim-witted, muscle-bound friend. All right, one more thing. What? Safe sex. OK, I'm buckled up if you're buckled up. I mean it, Keith. Sounds a little kinky, but what the heck? sent him away, didn't you? I did what I had to do. What are you doing, Ethan? Testing his love? Is that what this is about? No. You did it once before when Victoria came to town. You almost lost him. Mama, don't start with me. No, it's not what it's about. You know what I think it is? I think it's your vanity. Are you trying to hurt me? No, I'm not. I'm trying to save you from destroying your life. My life? What kind of life do Cruz and I have now? How about a compassionate, loving, wonderful life together? No. I am stuck in this chair. And I'm going to try my damnedest to get out. But if I can't, I'll deal with it. Alone. Now, maybe I'll have a productive life. I'll go back to work. Maybe even someday I'll be happy. The cruise is not going to be a part of my life. It's always your rules, isn't it, Eden? I want you to understand, Mom, I really do. That Cruz and I had dreams. We had things we were going to share together. A life filled with children. I can't give him those dreams anymore, Mama. Honey, you can have children. The doctors never said you couldn't conceive. Oh, my God. How could I take care of a baby? You would be a beautiful, loving mother. Let's not talk about this, because it's not going to happen. All right. Then you tell me this. How are you going to feel when you destroy his life by pushing him away? Do you know how much I love him? Well, I thought I did. But I don't know how you could love him and do this to him. It's because I love him with all my being that I don't want to force him to live with me out of pity. I know he loves me. I know he'd never turn his back on me. But I can't face living my life like that. I can't face doing it to him. Hey, what? What? Wait, wait, wait. What's with the jeans? 
Anything with Cruz? I hope so. Sweetheart, you know very well I wasn't always one of Cruz's biggest fans. I mean, there was a time a long time ago when I wouldn't have him anywhere near you. Now I realize that you two have a love that I can't fight. I mean, there isn't a man who loves you more. Or take care of you better than that man. I've made up my mind, and this is between Cruz and myself. Don't close the door. Just give me some more time. Give yourself some more time. I, I promise I won't push anymore. Is there anything else I can do for you? Actually, I would like to go to the hospital to see Kane. obsessed with that man, aren't you? He helped me, Daddy. He helped you? He kept you at a cabin and never contacted us? That's how he helped you? Kane is not responsible for that. I never asked him to contact you. Well, that may be. But he certainly was the man that held you at gunpoint and pulled you out of a hotel, and I'm going to have him put in jail for that. No, you are not. I am the only one that can press charges against Kane, and I'm not going to oh, do it. No, 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 that's not true. There are a lot of witnesses who saw exactly what I just told you, and they will press charges against him, and I will have him put in jail. He didn't know what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing, because I could see it in his eyes. You may not be able to know this, but Kane is a very gentle and caring man. If you are so anxious for revenge, you go find the woman who tried to kill me. You find the woman who caused this. I am trying to, Eden. I am trying to. I have people working on it already. Please, Daddy, leave Kane out of this. He came back to Santa Barbara because he thought he was protecting me from any more harm. As for being in the cabin, he healed me, Daddy. The doctor said it was impossible, and he might be able to do it again. How can you put yourself into the hands of someone that unstable? Daddy, when Kane is released from the hospital, I would like it very much if he could come here to recuperate. No! No, I will not have that maniac in this house. Okay, it is your house, and I will respect your wishes. But if you won't let him come here, I will find a place on my own so I can be with Kane. The problem, Cruz? Not anymore. I want you to pack up your stuff and leave. You're firing me? Yeah. <laughs> you have trouble with your fiancé, so you fire me. You're the trouble. I didn't do anything but be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, but you've managed to do it since the moment we met. <sighs> I really can't believe this, you know? I mean, the woman lets you believe she's dead for five months. She comes back to town, she jumps to all the wrong conclusions, and you're willing to bend to her every whim. More than willing, Eleanor. I'm actually eager to do whatever I can to put her mind at ease. Well, not at my expense. I have done a damn good job for you, Cruz. Nevertheless, you're fired. So please get out of here. Now. Oh, well, well. Back to 
from the dead and beautiful is it? I asked to meet you here on business, Keith. Oh, shucks. I'd just come to your senses and decided that people were really missing you back here. Where's Cruz, anyway? I thought he'd be sticking to life. Keith. I wanted to Why? talk to you about Kane. I wouldn't worry about that. He's, uh, he's up for assault. He's up for kidnapping. Anything else you want to add to the list? I'm not bringing any charges. It's an open and shut case. We got witnesses. We got your publicity from your resurrection. We can nail this sucker to the wall. I'm not testifying. I'm not pressing any charges. <sighs> I would love to open a fly on the wall of that cabin on its long winter nights. You can see the headlines now. Poor Cruz. Flatfoot loses bride to Bigfoot. You don't have a case without me, and you know that. Okay. I don't need to push this. I'll drop the charges. Thank you. You know, a lot of people thought it was a shame when the plane went down. Including you. Well, there's the beautiful blonde I'm supposed to remember. You'll remember soon enough. I wouldn't count on it. I am. You still expect me to help you walk again? You're the only person who can do it. Well, even if I am, you're gonna have a long wait. Why? Well, from everything I've read, I'm gonna get at least two to ten years. You're not going to jail, Kane. I've already settled that with the district attorney. I'm not pressing charges. Why not? Sounds like I treated you pretty badly. You did sometimes. But more than anything, you helped me. You helped me to walk again. You would collect herbs and roots near the cabin and make special teas for me. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait. I, <laughs> I collected roots and herbs for you? Did I also uh, talk to the animals and dance around the campfire at night? No, you, you trapped animals. Don't you remember? Every time you went out to go check your traps, I hoped that you didn't find anything so the little animals didn't need to die. I don't remember that. You made a hot tub for me. Don't you remember that? It brought all the, the water up from, from the springs, and, and you exercised my legs every day. <laughs> I made a hot tub? What did I do, whittle it? I wish I could remember. <clears throat> Kane, you helped me. You helped me so much. The doctor said I wouldn't walk again, and I did. You helped me to walk again. Well, we're quite a pair, aren't we? I can't remember a thing, and you can't get out of that chair. I think we need to help each other now. And as soon as you're released, I want you to come home with me. I think we need each other. Listen, I can't believe Cruz fired you. How could he be so unfair? Well, you know how important Eden is to him. He's going through a crisis, and he doesn't know another way to handle it. So he takes it out on you? Come on, that doesn't make any sense at all, Eleanor. Well, I... I can't hold it against him. So what are you going to do now? I haven't thought about it yet. Well, there aren't any jobs out there. No, uh, Carmen, I'll be all right. I really will. I, I have lots of different qualifications, and I wasn't really doing this job for the money anyway. Now, I'm sure you'll be great at whatever it is you want. I've got a terrific idea. Why don't the three of us go out for the dinner? We sing our last night together and all? Sounds okay by me. Oh, I forgot. I, I can't make it. I promised Cruz I'd be back at the beach house. Oh, but that shouldn't stop the two of you from going out. Oh, Dinner, yeah. dancing. Come on, might help you forget a lousy day, Eleanor. No, I'm sorry, I really oh, don't think come that. on, Eleanor. It'll be great, I promise. Come on, Pearl can be so much fun. He'll make you laugh like you've never laughed before. Look, I gotta go. Cruz will kill me if I'm late. Bye! She's at it again. Yeah. Maybe this time it's not such a bad idea, huh? 
I can't promise you that you will laugh until you cry, Ellie, but uh, I am worth a chuckle or two. We had a pretty good time, didn't we? Very good time. But I can't tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, maybe then there's some other night, huh? Listen, for what it's worth, uh, you did come on too strong to cruise. But you shouldn't have treated you that way. Thank you. It's very sweet of you to say, bro. I don't suppose if I had pulled out a gun right now, you would. Forget about it. Well, you left these when you checked out this morning. I thought you must want them. They're beautiful. Thank you. I'm afraid you're going to have to give me a little time alone with Kane. Oh, all right. You will think about what I said, Kane? If I can remember. Can I help you? You know, for once in my life, Cruz, I'm not very proud to have you as a brother. Don't tell me. This is about Eleanor, isn't it? Of course it is. What do you expect? You know, Eleanor has been very supportive of you. Even now, she refuses to speak against you. And what do you do to repay that loyalty? You go and fire Carmen, I don't want to talk about this with you. Because you're ashamed. Well, you should be. How could you do this? You know, Eleanor's good for the agency, and she's good at her job. If I wanted your opinion about this, I would have asked for it. But since I haven't, you can take that as a sign that I don't want to hear it. You're so predictable. I should have figured you'd say something like that. You still see me as your dumb kid sister. Well, I'm not dumb, and I'm not blind. You're blaming Eleanor for something that isn't even her fault. I don't know the half of it. Look, the only mistake that Eleanor ever made was falling in love with you. If only she'd ever know it was a big mistake. What are you doing here? <laughs> you may be able to throw me out of your house, but as far as I know, your daddy doesn't own this place. How did you know I was here? You're flattering yourself, Eden. I'm here to see Kane. Why? In Cruz's interest, I want to make sure that he's not going to press any charges against him. Well, he's not going to, is he? Would it make any difference to you? Well, Cruz may be out of my life, but it doesn't mean I don't care for him. As much as you cared about him when you were off in those mountains? You don't know anything about that. I can't believe that it was absolutely impossible to get some kind of word to him in all that time. At least to let him know you were still alive. I don't owe you an explanation. Well, there isn't an explanation. There couldn't possibly be one. I'm just glad I was here for Cruz to help him in his pain. Yes, I'm sure that was your concern. Well, I've already told you that I had other interests. I wanted to go to bed with him. <laughs> I wanted him in every way, but I also wanted to make him forget. 
I wanted to keep his mind off of losing you. And I guess it was during that selfless time that you fell in love with him. I think I fell in love with him the moment I saw him. Instantly, looking into his eyes and feeling him watching me. How could I help but not fall in love with him? And Cruz was just starting to return those feelings when you made your surprise entrance. Well, I'm sure this won't stop your pursuit. Well, you're certainly in no condition to pick up things where you left off, are you? And you never will be. And how do you know that? It's obvious. No, it's not. You said once before I wouldn't get out of this chair. Have you been practicing your profession, poking around in my medical records here at the hospital? You haven't told Cruz yet that you're paralyzed for life, have you? That's none of your business. No. Of course, you don't want anyone else to know right now, do you? You're saving that tidbit of information for later, just at the right moment. You want to wring out all the pity you can from him. No. Oh, Eden, don't deny that that's what you want. But I'm going to make sure that's not what you get. Cruz doesn't deserve to be stuck with you. You can't give him what he needs. And besides, he doesn't love you anymore. He just feels sorry for you. Eden, you truly are pathetic. I just hope that Cruz comes to his senses before you drag him down any more than you already have. Sweetheart, something's got you shaking. It can't be so bad that you don't want to talk to Pearl about it. Yeah, huh? it's horrible. Well, in that case, you gotta talk to somebody. Well, what about Brick? No. Okay. He, uh, he promised me he'd give me information on John. Now, now, who are you talking about? He... He promised me that he would give me information on Johnny if... I... I don't know what to do, Pearl. He, he, now he wants me to meet him again, so to look at that. Spot. Oh no, no, you're not gonna fall for that routine a second time. I would rather die than let him touch me again. Listen, sweetie, everybody in Santa Barbara knows that you would give anything to find Johnny. What you have to know is that you cannot trust somebody like that. Yeah, but that's the hard way. If, if he only knew what kind of sacrifices you have. No, you can't you have... tell Brick. Promise me that. I, I promise. I won't tell. I'm so stupid. This is the way that he used me, and I got nothing out of it. I don't understand why Brick hates me. I hate myself. Hey, listen, if you're crying about these, you're wasting your tears. I, I found them in my place. On the sofa. I guess you, you dropped them in the heat of the moment. Hey, you! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey, okay! Oh, 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 oh. You know something? This could give me a good reason to pull the last resort's detective license. You better get out of here right now before you give me good reason to put me behind bars for a good long time, okay? Okay. You get in the smell around here, anyway. Investigation. Yes, I was just coming to see how you're doing. Better, better every day. I'm glad to hear it. Wonder what 
what's going on in there. I don't know, but I've got to get back to work. I'm glad to hear you're doing better. Keep it up. Thanks. One million four hundred thousand? Yeah. It's what's left of the inheritance you gave me. I used the rest of it to open the agency. I have receipts to show how I spend every penny. That isn't necessary. Oh, I think it is. I've made arrangements with my bank to pay you back the balance I owe you over the course of the next year. If that meets your approval, comes to slightly more than a hundred thousand dollars. That's fine. Is it? I'm Tom Brokaw. In today's complicated world, you need good reasons to make the best choice for the news you watch. At NBC Nightly News, we believe you should get the facts easily. We think you deserve to understand the day's events clearly. We have to earn your confidence by examining the issues fairly. That's why at NBC Nightly News, we cover the world with you in mind.